and laughter going for your next act, Eddie Hair! <laughs> My name's Eddie. Uh, I want to be as honest as possible right at the top. I'm actually a pretty interesting guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I used to be very self-conscious about my wrists. My dad's got huge wrists. My mum's got tiny wrists. I've got my mother's wrists. <laughs> I love my mum uh, so much, but her wrists are bullshit. At school, I used to catch myself staring at my friend's wrists. <laughs> just thinking, that's a big wrist, buddy. <laughs> How'd you do it? What's your secret? Uh, the secret is genetics. Okay, you cannot thicken your wrists, it's bone. <laughs> I know that now. But I used to be really jealous of those big wrist boys. You know, they, they were popular. Uh, they seemed happy. <laughs> they had a joie de vivre. <laughs> I get it now. Uh, there were other factors to their popularity. You know, that they would not stare at people's wrists. <laughs> and uh, they never used the phrase joie de vivre. I, uh, I stopped caring about my wrists when I got a bald patch at 22. <laughs> just, just thought, fair enough. <laughs> this is a lot worse. <laughs> Don't know what I was complaining about before. Uh, so now I just catch myself staring at the crowns of my friends' heads. <laughs> Thinking, that's a well-covered crown, buddy. <laughs> You've done it again. How'd you do it? What is your secret? Uh, the secret, again, is genetics. <laughs> okay, you, you cannot do anything about hair loss. Uh, I've looked into it, of course I have. I found a blog where a man said, no, there's, there's two things you can do. You can wear a hat. <laughs> I tried that, uh, it didn't feel right. Okay, it felt like I was hiding something. It was my bald patch. <laughs> the other thing he said is, well, you could, uh, you could dress younger to compensate. Uh, I think I already dressed quite young. This is, this is quite adorable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I think the next step would be to, like, get some dungarees and light up trainers. <laughs> but that's gonna be distracting for the wrong reasons. Okay, I think best case scenario, people will say, why has that toddler got pattern baldness? <laughs> What's that little guy's story? <laughs> but uh, it, it is weird if you start losing your hair when you're still quite young, okay? Especially if it is at the back, because you do just forget it's happening. Uh, so you get up, you look in the mirror, you think, yeah, all good up front. You turn to your boys, uh, who are in the bathroom with you, because you've got a supportive vibe in the flat. <laughs> And you say, boys, fellas, we're looking good. Let's step out. Let's head to the post office. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you do with your boys. <laughs> but sometimes me and my boys, we just need to buy some stamps. <laughs> First class, second class, large letter. The post office has them all. It's a no-brainer. So we march in there bold as brass. <laughs> but today there's a problem, okay? Uh, they have installed a new CCTV camera. It's right above the entrance, it's pointing inwards. <laughs> Just in front of me there is a big 4K monitor. It's fancy for this post office, they're doing well. <laughs> me and the boys give them a lot of business to be fair. <laughs> but I look up at the screen and I see a man with a bald patch. He is flanked by a wicked squad of supportive boys. <laughs> and my first thought is, yes, mate, good for you. <laughs> but then I realize that those are my boys. That's my bald patch. <laughs> and it, was, it was tough. 
you know, I, I tried wearing a hat every time I went to that post office. But like I said, it's not for me. Uh, so eventually just had to stop buying stamps. <laughs> and that's the story of how I got an email address. <laughs> Thank you, good night.